Y'all ready to fuck this shit? Hell yeah. Mike, check one fucking two. Yo. That's how we usually start the podcast. We can usually start it with, your mic's not on, is it? (laughs) Might have to flip that switch on the side. No, 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 no. Up here? Barbara don't know technology. Yeah, Yeah, that's all right. I'm a little bit new to this shit. Shit. Hell yeah. Well, and y'all on, uh... But didn't y'all like have some sort of shit going on, like a podcast? We have a studio at the house. Oh yeah, yeah we do some like hell short yeah short form content. Short form. Yeah. Oh shit, y'all don't y'all don't be doing long form shit like this. We make the long like podcasts. We just don't ever uh-huh. upload them. Oh, we cut it up into small segments and then post. Them. Okay, that's the real with that. I understand that. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, what y'all fellas been up to? Making money. Making money. Every day. Every hell fucking yeah. day. Hell yeah. What does that consist of? Roofing. Mm. What do you do, Robert? Well, I'm a business owner. Um, oh, yeah? Yes, sir. I fuck with that. Hey, you got to start young. Hey, you might have to mm. get that mic a little bit up. <laughs> you want me you, right here? Yeah, I want yeah, you to fuck good. the mic, brother. Oh, I want you to be right. sucking like, that mic off. All right, I got you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> going that. You got headphones on, Robert, so you do hear yourself. Yeah, bro, you here. definitely can <clears throat> hear yourself. You should be able to. So I'm a little bit under the influence right now. but. Oh, yeah? Oh, no, you good. Still, hey, we can get right. you even more under the influence <laughs> if you want to, bro. Oh, shit. But. I mix drinks, man. <laughs> yeah, he oh, does yeah. drinks, bro. I got a damn mini fridge filled up with nothing he but alcohol He fucking mixes up. Hel- yeah, hold on. We might can get this up a little bit. <laughs> We're having a little bit of te- technical difficulties. Oh, fuck. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> You're good right there. Oh, and then we might have to... We, uh... <laughs> Bar- Barson, what's going on with your mic, bro? Oh, sorry, bro. We're just the most unprofessional fucking podcast on oh, the earth. Hey. God damn it. Hold on. Hold, you got to hold the mic. See? <laughs> okay, you got it? Hold it. All right. Go. All right, you're good. All right, now twist it. Right there. Brother. We are live. Sweet. Yeah. You been roofing and shit, huh? Yeah, sir. Roof, 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 roof. Up in this bitch. Yeah. I fuck with that. All right. How long does it take you to do a roof? A day. How does it work? So the way we do it is we get the insurance to pay for it completely. When there's a storm, uh, we go out there and then yeah, we... Fuck that roof up. Nah, we don't do that. Oh. Yeah. I mean, fuck it up as in you repair it. Yeah, you know. Hell yeah, hell yeah. There you go. I actually know I actually know somebody that just recently, their roof got fucked. Oh, uh, I think I know. Yeah, that. it was by damn... Um, it was by the damn storm that just happened yep, just here recently. Yep, yep. Here in April. A big ass, yeah. A big ass, no. It wasn't here in April. It was like uh, was last cool. month. Yeah, it was not that long ago. Yeah, ago. bro. A whole ass tree, tree fell through their roof. Yeah. Damn. See, we didn't get to it, so. Oh, uh, yeah. Actually, I don't think that they had insurance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's no good. <laughs> yeah. They're fucked. Yeah. That's all right. That's all right. Hell yeah, making money doing roofing and shit. Hey, so you own you own the business? You do? We're business partners. Y'all both do? Yep. Oh shit. Okay. I fuck with that shit. Yes, sir. So yeah. y'all is it fifty fifty? Y'all got it fifty fifty? That's the way to do oh, it. Oh shit. Mm-hmm. I fuck with that. And these are the guys? Yeah. These yeah, are hell they, yeah. y'all just put these guys to work. Not really. The no. way we have it set up is like hell yeah. me and him own the business, but mm-hmm. we make the same money as they do. So like everyone has oh, the same shit. potential. Everybody has like a role to play. Oh, it's like a team or a team effort. Yeah. So yeah, we yeah. own it and you know, we're we're the people who control the money, but yeah. at the end of the day we make the same as all of them do when it comes to selling. Like if we want to make I money, fuck with that. we go out and sell. So we're like, always working with them. Oh wow. I so, fuck with that. Yeah, that's it's awesome. Like, it's like, you know, how would I say it? We have to go out there and get the work. Uh-huh. Like it's like it's not fair for us just to sit behind the desk and you know <laughs> collect. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you know, I like to be out in the field. That's one thing I'm always. I fuck with on, that. So. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Hell yeah. Yeah, I man. Really do Team fuck effort. I fuck with that. Where did that come from? Where did it start? How'd that shit start up? Got the fucking knees holding. I don't give a fuck <laughs> in this shit. Go, yeah. On this podcast, I'm ready to fucking. Bro, yeah, I'm you ready to fuck. You should on here, bro. He's gonna, bro. Lennon's gonna be here in a I'm little bit. I'm ready to fuck on this podcast. <laughs> on any of them, I'm ready to fucking go. So the way it started was, you know, I started off back in 2016. 
Oh yeah. Oh damn. Yes, sir. During Bro, the, no way. That's back the, whenever I fucked with yeah, you. Back Hell in high yeah. Hell yeah. So you know, it all started off. You know, we during the summer I didn't have shit to do. Uh huh. So I just worked during the summer, and you know, I started learning the process. Mm-hmm. Summer, yeah. to summer. Turned eighteen. Uh huh. Stepped into the sales position, and that's when Brevin joined on, and then it was just domination. Oh yeah, domination. Like, I fuck with that. Y'all got it going. So far, so good. So far, so good. Hell yeah. Everybody's going to be needing some fucking roofs and shit. That's an industry that's never going to stop. Yeah. How did it, like, you was just bored? (laughs) That was it? So did y'all have any, like, giraffes to start off with? I was just fed up with the bullshit at the other company. Oh. Oh. Are you talking about, like, leaving to start this company? Or just just in in general? general? Yeah, yeah, just in general. I think Robert, like, come out the puss onto a roof. I don't think he hit the ground. (laughs) <laughs> oh yeah i was born on the roof oh yeah. fuck oh, shit. Yeah. whoa you know that's wild he was born just putting those fucking roofs together hell yeah nailing them bitches on yeah, i fuck yeah. with that it's like when you're in the back of the room clapping cheeks yes yeah. sir so, yes sir i fuck with that shit <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah bro i read your uh i read your thing i read your thing in your bio What'd you, what'd you read? The uh, I read that little article thing that you had going on. Oh, yeah, on. yeah, the article. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember what new, news outlet did that. I got like, there's a few of them. Yeah, the bro. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, bro, I read that shit. You said, it said that you did, um, you did like, uh, like knives. You yeah, made I, knives. Used, I used oh, to make shit. knives. That was my first business. You don't make knives Holy anymore? Shit. Nah, but I can. It's oh, pretty dope. shit. I've been yeah. trying to get these guys. I actually bought, we went gun shopping the other day, uh-huh. and I bought a knife, and they all made fun of me because I didn't make it. Oh, what the I fuck? Know, bro. But Damn, no, I, I that's can't. fucked up. That's how I got into it. Because it's like <laughs> art. I mean, y'all do art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, that's like a form of art. So that's what I got into originally. Definitely. Started a business doing that. How do you uh-huh. like, uh, with a knife making, do you have to have like a whole machine and, and set up for it? Yeah. So I don't really know where I got the the drive to want to make knives. But yeah. I remember seeing it on TV, I think. And uh-huh. I think we went to a gun show and I seen custom knives. Oh, shit. I was like, well, damn, that's something I can do. So what I did was I took a class up in Pigeon Forge. Most people, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, Forge, Pigeon Forge. Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thing. But there's a little building out beside it that we're teaching people how to make knives. So I took the class. Went back home, convinced my stepdad, said, give me $500. I need to uh, buy the forge because they sold mm. the forges that you need, which is what you heat the metal up in. Yeah. I convinced my stepdad to give me $500, bought the uh, forge, bought out on a low budget with everything else I needed, uh-huh. and then I took horseshoes. So, like, that's on the bottom of a, of a horse. But yeah. You get the old ones. So, if you buy the new ones, you know, anything now is just cheap. It's made in China. Yeah. So, I got the old horseshoes that were actually hand forged to begin with. Yeah, the metal. made in the mm-hmm. USA. Made in the USA, baby. Hell yeah. yeah. Cut them down the middle, <laughs> beat them out, made two knives out of one horseshoe. I got... You know, you can get old horseshoes from anybody. So I was getting, like, old horseshoes pretty much for free. And I would cut oh, them in shit. half, forge them out, sell it for $30. Oh, so, shit. So, wow. I got, dude, I paid all that $500 in, like, uh-huh. a month. And then I was... It's like one horseshoe. You can make, like, 60 bucks off of it. Yeah, so I found, wow. like, a little, a little, I guess... <laughs> you just started money, stealing money thing. horseshoes off of horses. Well, okay. <laughs> I, was out, I was out behind your grandpa's house in the barn at night. You yeah. Know, stealing them, them horseshoes. Hell yeah. fuck with that. That's awesome. Hell yeah, you just jacking up fucking... Uh, Manholes in the city. Yeah, bro. You know, Hell like, yeah. Like, all the kids had them shanks. And this, I was like 13. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I was like 13. Neighborhood shank dealer. <laughs> yeah, a fucking oh. kid will come by and fucking shank you. Dude, and you know, they're Stealing dangerous. his damn horses. <laughs> Stealing his damn horse ho- horseshoes. I tell you, bro. And I actually, I got, I started making, you know, the codex. Like most holsters is that plastic. So uh-huh. I actually got to where I was making holsters for the knife. So. Whoa. Yeah, bro. So you could fucking Holy put them in the book bag, you know, whatever oh, you gotta do. Shit. Yeah, bro. So. I fuck with that. That's badass. That is badass. And I racked up some money, but then, you know, I got to high school. Uh-huh. Making knives isn't exactly... Yeah, mix. people were like making fun of you <laughs> yeah, in high school. Like, it was like, oh, this guy makes fucking knives. Yeah. <laughs> but I was making money. Uh-huh. I also made bows, too. Like, I would go to, like, the sites, oh, like, wholesale, lumber yard, yeah. buy a PVC pipe, and then I would cut it in, like, Usually like eight foot, six to eight foot. Seconds. Yeah, you heat it with a heat gun and bend it. Uh huh. You just tie paracord on it. It's a fucking bow. Oh, that's Damn. badass. Bro, I was selling. The, I Bro. sold the most of those. I would sell them for like twenty dollars a piece, and I Whoa. probably had you know like two dollars in it. Bro, I used to sell uh, sticks of gum in high school. 
A dollar a piece. Dollar a fucking piece. Yeah. Everybody, yeah. Fucking <laughs> Damn, man. everybody was on my dick for those. Bro, I'd have been buying them to give it to the teachers. Dude, the teachers to you God. ever have it in school where the teachers just come up behind you with stink ass breath, bro? Hell yeah. yeah. God damn. There's a fucking tic tac. Like, it is a tic Piece of gum. Dollar. God, yep. <laughs> it was bad. Hell yeah. I flashbacks. I even used to sell socks. At school, I swear to God, I tied our socks. I don't even know if you remember that nah, shit. That was nah, back in the day, bro. I don't remember that era. <laughs> Hell yeah, socks, I used to tie our socks and sell them to fucking people. Damn. Hell yeah, until um, <laughs> until I got them tied out, and then somebody took them home and washed it with their other clothes, and I didn't oh, know. Oh, and it bled off. And it bled the- off, and it fucked yep. everybody over. <laughs> Dude, the homie was coming to school with like tied on his clothes. For Hell day. yeah, and then people started yep. suing me, and then I got yep. fucked. No, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> Hell yeah, I fuck with that shit. Yeah. You too, Robert. Talk Y'all are on some fucking big shit. That's awesome, though, man. Not a lot of people Robert be doing had that a sort of stuff. Produce stand. Robert selling produce back, back in then. the day. Shit, he was having lemonade and lemonade stand. Hell no, yeah. I used to move them, you know, kilos of fruit. Brother, oh, yeah. yeah, that's hard. You know, what did you sell? Everything. Everything. I fuck anything. And bananas, everything. avocados, mangoes, avocados, mangoes everything. everything. Pomegranate. Holy Pomegranate, shit! Yeah. Dragon fruits. Dragon fruit. No fucking way. Yeah, yeah. Prickly pears. Those are exotic. Prickly pears. Pineapples. Pineapple mangoes, lettuce. Water brother. Water, yeah. Everything. Wow. Since 12, though. Oh, shit. Yeah. Y'all big time entrepreneur in this, in this bitch, huh? You know, a little bit. I fuck with that. Got Ever, the roofing um, going on. Getting like stock trading. I did a bunch of that. Yeah. Right. He never, well, he never really ventured into it. So I got into like crypto. Uh, I've been uh-huh, in stocks yeah. my whole life. You know, in and in, in and out of it, and I got yeah. really heavy into crypto when I started you, making money. You ever get like really heavy into it, like during like the COVID, like coronavirus stuff? Because yeah. that's when the market crashed pretty bad. Yeah, especially definitely. with like Bitcoin. Uh huh. Bro, Bitcoin. Because I got into that for a while, it went from like 10 G to like less than 5 G in the course of a month. Back when the market crashed, yeah. and that's when I got into it, and I should have held on to it. But that's what kind of got my start into it was during that COVID area. You know, like things like the airlines were doing really bad, cruise lines. And so, like, I just loaded the boat when it came to that stuff. And I said, fuck it, we'll see what happens. And it turned out good. Like, once the the vaccines came out, everything just bounced back with that sort of stuff. And, uh, yeah, man, you can make a lot of money with that. Oh, and, like, uh, mining, like, cryptocurrencies, you can buy computer rigs and you can store them. And there's people that will look after it and... You know, with the cryptocurrency, it's like a passive income. And so you, they take care of it, maintain everything. And then, like, you have this stuff go to, like, a cryptocurrency wallet. And then after that, you would take it to an open market, sell it, and then the money would go to your account, your debit account or whatever. And then you just keep on doing that. And there was a guy that had an article. I think this was, I don't know if it was CNN or CNBC. And he put, he bought 10 of them for 60000 And he was able to make his money back in a year. And you guys, y'all could do that sort of stuff too. And it, it's like you don't have to do nothing. You just pay the guys to look after it and stuff. And yeah, that's, that's the one way of making I, money. I got a fun story on crypto. So yeah. it's kind of, and this is a true story how I lost six figures in three days. Oh hell so yeah! I was deep in crypto. Oh yeah. And I started trading. So like backstory: when I started a roofing company, the first roofing company I started was a company that's around here. I'm gonna say uh-huh. the name. Started that company with the guy, and it did not go anywhere. Couldn't mm-hmm. make any progress. Yeah, That's when I ended up at the previous company that we came from. Robert mm-hmm. was there. I've known Robert my whole life. Started that company. Within three months, I did a half a million in sales. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it clicked. I started making a lot more money, a lot more money. I made, you know, well over six figures just in my first year. I was still I was 17, still in high school. Yeah. That's a lot of money. Mm-hmm. And so I started trading stocks when the GameStop and, you know, all that oh, yeah. got into it. And yeah. I had been previously in a trading academy very heavily. We traveled all over the world for it. Caleb was in it, too. We did it for, like, what, two years? Yeah. Traveled all over the world. So I, you know, learning the, the ins and outs of the market, decentralized currency, centralized mm-hmm. currency, different exchanges, the way to move money around. And that's honestly how I got so good to be able to manage the money that we make today is just by learning how to manage and move money. Yeah. Mm. But I got in the stocks on the GameStop, the AMC, when all that went off, I was deep in it and I was making good money. And so I bought, I I ended up losing a lot of money on the AMC end because I made money on GameStop, turned around and I lost 
I lost like forty grand in AMC, mm. but mm. it had. If I would have held it for two more months, I would have made eighty. Yeah. So yeah. I sold it right before, but I I lost that amount of money. I still had more money, obviously, from working to throw into crypto. Got into crypto, and I started like straight printing money. Somebody's here. Oh, what the Hell fuck? Yeah, yeah bro, it. you can come on in. I mean, <laughs> the fuck? Come on, we'll get in here. <laughs> What's up, man? Bro. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. I fuck with that. You're the man. What's goody? What up, bro? What's up, bro? Hell yeah. <laughs> Me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I got you on here. I didn't even. I'll be honest, bro. I didn't even know y'all had a podcast until you hit me up. Yeah. <laughs> well, here we go. It's, here we it's, go. it's both ways. Yeah, you know. It's like it's small. I just you know. Small world. Small world. But but I'll break yes, it. Is. I'll break it down more in a little bit. How like me and him operate at such a high level to be able mm. to do what we do. But, yeah. But what I was saying. Yeah. Is sorry. I, I into, oh yeah. He meant to say sorry for fucking nah, he, y'all. He's good, bro. But I got into crypto. <laughs> I mean, he was just in the middle of explaining something. No, you good. No, I'm just <laughs> you fucking good, with you, Lyndon. No, bro, you can chill out. Bro, you good. Lyndon, no, I was just fucking with you, bro. Here, you want to hit something? Here, I got you. Yeah, bro, he's got something for you, bro. I got something for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. So I got into crypto, uh-huh. <laughs> and I had 10 grand in the account, and in yeah. like a week, I turned 10 to 30. Yep. Uh-huh. And so I had 30. Kept doing it. Got big into a project. Long story short, I don't know if you know, remember when Logan Paul fought Floyd Mayweather? Oh, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. So on the back of his shorts, there was a crypto called Superbid. Oh, uh, yeah. He was one of the highest investors in that project. I actually won his shorts, so I own the shorts that he wore in that fight. Oh, mm-hmm. shit. Long story short, <laughs> Logan Paul is an asshole. There's a big lawsuit going Hell on. Hell, yeah. I haven't been able to get the shorts. I'm going to get them in due time. Uh-huh. Anyways, I was in that project. Well, when the whole market took a dump, so did that project. And oh, within shit. two days, I lost 100 grand. Gone. Wow. That's gone. Yeah. That's yeah. a lot of money to be 17, 18. And yeah, 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 gone. yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So I kind of got out of the market for a while. Uh huh. I still own a shitload of crypto, though. Like, uh uh-huh. I do. I don't check it. It's on my, you know, cold storage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Locked vault mm-hmm. somewhere far oh, away. Oh, yeah. You know, I just, I just don't, just don't touch it. Yeah, you know, and then when I'm ready, now I, I'm actively. I just bought a whole new setup for my the office we got at the house, and I'm gonna start doing a little day trading again, just because. Yeah, I'm, it's it's fun. Why like, not? You know, yeah. you just don't, you gotta have money. You're not afraid to lose, and and, for and sure. have time. And yeah. Time oh thing. yeah, time is definitely a big time, one because time of, is money, especially if you're doing day trading. You basically gotta sit there and watch it like yeah. the whole fucking day. There's some people that honestly. I don't know how they do it, but there's people that that make a living off day trading, and like they'll have whole YouTube videos, and they'll just be like, "This is what I do." And sometimes like they'll just keep checking their phone, and then they'll have like sell orders, buy orders, and like they have stuff automated to where if it loses a certain amount, it'll automatically sell. Stop or, loss. Yeah, like a stop loss, or if it gains so much, it'll automatically sell. But they'll have like multiple things going on at once, and I'm like. I really don't have time for that right now. Yeah, like yeah for sure. School and all that sort of stuff going on. It's like on. that thing, you know, mm. money makes money. So, mm. and uh, you know, yeah. me, me and him, we're very well off compared to most people. But at the end mm. of the day, everyone that we have surrounded ourselves with, uh, the people that we work with on a business level, they are yeah. so far ahead of us that it's not. That's even. awesome. One of our buddies, um, we're in Miami. He owns a hundred and seventy footer yacht. Mm. Awesome. And Bro, the upkeep of that yacht a year is a million dollars. Oh, I guess so. You got to pay for crew yeah. and maintenance. But he does, he does trading too, and it's automated, uh-huh. so he doesn't touch it at all. His yeah. money works for him, and he makes like two to three hundred k a day. Oh yeah, that's the best. That's the best way to do it. I got one of those books over there is called the uh, Automatic Millionaire. Yeah. And that shit tells you exactly how the fuck it, how the fuck to do that shit, like how to set that shit up, how it, so it'll automatically work for you all the time. Yeah, he's got it down pat. You know, we we we. Uh, Robert be chilling with him in the Rolls Royce. They yeah, uh, hell yeah, drive yeah, yeah. off all day Aww. and eat everywhere. But that's awesome. We that's the thing, you know. When people like, say, "How oh, do you make money?" It's like the transfer of wealth. Well, oh uh, yeah, hang around people that make money. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. And, you know, that's definitely the best way to do it. For that sure. is, but you have to be able to provide value in some sort of way. Mm-hmm. To oh yeah, definitely. That's why I, I was telling. Um, I was just talking to Dylan the other day. 
with Lyndon about how um about how whenever whenever I'm like choosing relationships, I like to have relationships that are um where you um what is it where you where you're not loving somebody unconditionally. You dig what I'm saying? Right, where yeah, there's okay. only where there's always conditions. There's always conditions. Nothing you know what I'm anything saying? Anything unconditionally is uncontrolled. Yeah. Yeah, 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 for yeah. sure. That's what I think. That's how I look at it. Is like cuz if if we're in a we're in a relationship together and it not even like an intimate relationship like whenever it comes to girls, I'm talking about like a friendship, a friendship or something. Yeah. Like you you got to be providing something to each other yeah, exactly. on a on a constant basis. That's the way I look whether it be money, whether it be like emotional like support or like, like just a support t- in team general. Player, you know, just Exactly. Trying to grow together. You know. Mm, that's the way better. I see it. Everybody's got their different, you know, their different purpose in a friendship. You know, that's the thing. That's why the people that we are around is so small. And most uh, of them are day ones because it yeah. gets to the point when you start really doing well, you can't let people in your circle yeah. that have not been there. Yeah. Definitely. Because yeah, now yeah. if you meet new people that are also successful, then it's different. Then mm-hmm. you start to build a relationship with them. For sure. Yeah. But like people who I've known for from my past. Uh-huh. And I never really wanted anything to do with what I was doing then. Now they do because they see that, hey, look, this dude's, they're fucking they're doing, doing something. Right? They yeah. want something from Yeah, you, I see what you you're know? saying. So, they but, want it, but at that point, it's like it's too late. And that's another thing with females. It's like it gets to a point when you start really obtaining a lot of money, really obtaining a lot of success. People see that. Yeah. And even, even when people start becoming successful and they're like, damn, does nobody notice that? People do. People watch. Oh, yeah, oh, for yeah. sure. People like, be the pocket people watching. People that watch you that don't, don't, <laughs> communicate or don't interact with your uh, stuff oh yeah they're just gonna be like oh yeah i definitely yeah, know what you're talking women, about <laughs> they, they wait at like the finish line, uh, line and wait for the winner yeah. you know when it's popular <laughs> to follow you then that's when they follow you and yep. like yeah. i've been there since day one and oh yeah it's like no. you've been hating since day one but yeah. now you uh-huh. have no choice to hate because i'm everywhere mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah 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 but it's like at the end of the day you know the biggest the biggest things like for us is to try to eliminate you know try not to be prideful and mm. at the same time you got to try to be humble because humble is how you get to the next level yeah because you got to be humble enough to understand that somebody's doing better oh but, yeah all the time but you know there again you can be doing better than somebody else but at the same for time sure. we try to like help other people out that are not doing as well as we are and try to be able to understand and relate and give back to those people mm. because guess what somebody did it for us like oh, there's yeah, always, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, you yeah. always have those people when you were stuck, like maybe starting this podcast, there was somebody who was like, Hey, maybe do this, whether it was yeah. indirect or directly to you. It oh yeah. Always. I always take constructive criticism yeah. mm-hmm. all the time. Anytime anybody has something to say about mm-hmm. it, I'm always just like, okay, you know what? That might be valid. You yeah. Because if, because if they took the time enough to even care to look or to see, it's like, okay. You know? Exactly. Now, if it's somebody you know that's just straight hating, yeah. Like, yeah. like you know, a lot of people that talk shit about me online, you know, uh-huh. saying stuff. Dude, I get it all the time. They say daddy's money or just stupid stuff. Uh-huh. Like, like I don't even have a dad. If people knew that, but oh just stupid shit. shit, yeah, just stupid shit. It's like I'm like, and okay, what 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 do you do? What do you do? Oh, oh you you <laughs> oh. you push you push buggies or something? You know? Uh huh. Somebody said I worked at Walmart. That's why I said that. That's funny, but shit. Mm. Yes, catch me at Walmart. <laughs> Catch me at Walmart. How about that? Come hey, snatch this fucking chain. Walmart's not paying bad, though, is what I heard. Come snatch his chain. I think somebody told me they're paying he got like a fake $18 chain or something. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me Caleb. of someone with the hollow chain. Yeah, snatch his fucking <laughs> chain, too. <laughs> <laughs> he bought that junk at the stand in the mall. Shit. <laughs> By that Indian guy. No, you know, he bought it. it was Caleb, real. is I it hollow? Him. I was with him. He bought it. Or is it, it solid? It's solid. <laughs> it was real. It gave me a hard time about it. Hey, we we bought some. Uh, we bought a gold chain. Well, I did from a yard sale. Yeah, oh, and a Gucci watch, bro. Yard oh. sales are the fucking place. Yeah, like, I need to go to more. Like, honestly, like, yeah. Like when I tell you, he came home with this antique Gucci. Watch, it's a women's like, watch. It's yeah, old. I ain't Damn. gonna lie. Women's be having some good ass fashion. No yeah. cap. No cap. For real. Sometimes I'll be dabbling in that shit. I ain't gonna I mean, care. <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, like cross dressing and putting on makeup nah, and put, nah, <laughs> nah, 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 I'm just nah, fucking nah. with you. <laughs> like putting nah. on lipstick and shit. I can't be getting that. Nah, I gotta move out. And sucking dick. <laughs> no. <and>, uh, <laughs> I, li- 
I like this. <laughs> I like this. I like designer. That me and Robert, we, you know, that's one of those things. Like people, are like why you, how can you pay three, four hundred dollars for a shirt? Because uh-huh. you, because I fucking can. Like, that's See, cool. bro. Well, the material me, usually are pretty good it's, too. It's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. On like, the other hand, real. me, I'm not gonna pay five hundred dollars for a shirt on any occasion, no matter how much money I have. But shoes, I will pay. I'll throw a couple grand out for a pair of shoes. Yeah. That's no cap for me. Yeah. Honestly, I because like shoes, yeah. for me, whenever I'm walking out in shoes, like a pair of designer shoes, that's what I'm going to, that's what well, I'm trying to get into now is like, yeah. I have been, I mean, I got a few, but I wish, I mean, I, of course you can always have more. <laughs> you know you what I'm saying? always have more. I don't know. I went through that phase. I bought, uh-huh. I bought a few different pairs. The The nicest pair that I'd bought was the off-white Air Force Ones. Mm. Oh, Yeah. Those yeah. are like 3500 bucks. Those yeah, are, those are comfy. Those are, they're not really. What? <laughs> no. Nah. Brother. No, nah, I, I got All Air my, Force my ones are good, though. Oh. So my feet be sliding around a little bit. Oh, mm. shit. I ordered them, so. I oh, you ordered it. online? Yeah, bro. That's, bro, that's the how thing about I ordered ordering these. stuff offline, though. These are fucking Suicos, bro. I don't know if you ever heard of this shit. No, that, that's new to me. You never even heard no. that shit? Yeah, bro. These, these are like 250 bucks, bro. But if you look at them. Damn, they got the, the inside. Yeah, they got the damn. Bro, these shits right here. Be comfy. Well, they are uh, not for the first little bit because you got to let your sh- foot in. adapt to it. Yeah, mm. and it's not even that you have to break your break into it. You have to break your foot into it. You dig what yeah. I'm saying? Because your foot has to get used to the support that it has to, with it. Mm. So it's just. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I like, I like, I don't know. It depends on the occasion. Usually, I just throw on a black tee and. Call it a day. Yeah, that, day, bro. that's what I do. I'm a jewelry guy, though. That's where. Oh, yeah? What, uh, what is that watch you're wearing right there? Rolex. Rolex. Date just, yeah. Date just? Date okay. just, yeah. Hell yeah, that's hard. What is it? Like a 38 millimeter or it's a 42? 30, it's a 38. 38. It's a 38. Hell yeah. What about you, Robert? You got a pretty nice watch on today. Nah, dog. I'm not. <laughs> is, that like, is that what you like is watches? I stay. Watches you stay like, home. Is there like a turtle? Because yeah. I, I collect the watches. I was on an Oyster Perpetual. That's what this is. It's a day just. What's a perpetual just? 38 millimeter factory diamond bezel on. This is the only model they made the diamond bezels on. Any, oh, any other watch? That I noticed that because I the ones that I seen online they didn't have the diamonds on it. You, yeah. No, you can. These are the only ones that have the factory diamonds. Is the Oyster Perpetuals? Any other Rolex watch that has any type of diamond bezel is all aftermarket. Mm. When you got that, did you have to like get on a waiting <laughs> list or did you just go to the no, store? No, you just. So I'm in a. I don't know if you watch. You watch TikTok and you watch dealers. Nah, Vukum. Nah. They have a, I be have watching. A, I be watching some. Vukum. That like uh, watch that. It's a private. I know, private group. That's how I got it through. Oh, uh, I know. Group. Like um, like it's usually the jewelry people. It's not usually um, it's not usually like just specific watch dealers. Yeah, those guys. Those guys strictly do watches. So that's how you can find uh, good deals through there. Now we when we go to Miami, um, it's called the what was it the thirteenth building. I don't know the eleven some some building. It's thirteen stories. Okay, oh, and no, thanks, it's brother. every level. It's full of jewelry. Oh shops. wow! There's like there's probably three hundred million. Hurt. I know. I don't. Is there like anymore. um? Huh? I don't do it anymore at all. What's like the next watch you're wanting to get? Or though? drink? I swear to God, it's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> well, next bad. watch. I, right now, I mean, like, cause I got this, and honestly, like, I wear it. I wear it on occasions. I don't wear it a lot. Mm-hmm. And it didn't get as much, like, damn it, nice watch as I thought. Yeah, no, uh-huh. people <laughs> aren't in, in the watches. <laughs> no, <laughs> you, know, people, like, you know, I'm like, yeah, I got to fucking not. The next one I get would be, just be, like a Rolex, it would just be like a regular Rolex, probably uh, just date just, bust down. But it, the thing about those is they're all aftermarket diamonds on it, so it's not. But, bro, the thing with that, bro, is that, like, I'm pretty sure, like, afterwards it'll lose its value. If Since it's aftermarket. I'm pretty sure I could be wrong on that. Since it's aftermarket, you just got to know because those are so easy replicated. Yeah. You can get some. The dog shit. You just gotta. Do know. you have to worry about Bless people you. like with Thank fake you. watches? <laughs> you have to worry about that, any? Yeah, I mean, fake watches is a thing, but you usually yeah. can tell. Like, you, okay. you know if a watch is fake. Yeah. Usually the way it feels. Bought off a of Timu. T- Ed buys <laughs> Rolex off a of Timu. Yeah. But, I mean, usually yeah. you can, uh, you can tell. Yeah. Where's he at? <laughs> anyway, the next watch I would buy. I mean, I like the Car- Cartier Santos. They're nice. Mm-hmm. You know, just what you drinking? Coffee. Coffee. Robert, yeah. we're in a conversation. We've got two pockets. He's trying to on. catch me. You know the tank watches, <laughs> the ones that are like square like that from Cartier? You know what I'm talking about? If oh, I, I know those. Those are hard. Yeah. Yeah. Like Bro, those. I like those ones where um, 
where it's made out after the after that painting of the clocks that are dripping. You know what I'm talking about? It's talking. got like yeah, a it, so. it's like a wavy clock on it. I know what you're is that Rolex? No, it's no, a Cartier. Cartier. They're Cartier. Yeah, I those things to get, like, are a pair hard. of sunglasses from them. Yeah, they got some nice mm. ones. The like the uh, buffs. Oh yeah, Cartier these are, buffs. These are just like them. You can't tell the difference. Yes, yeah, sir. These are Ray Bans. They come out oh, with their own yeah. edition. Bro, I got a I got a pair kind of like that that I got for three bucks Damn. at the mall. How do you real? Hell no, it ain't <laughs> 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 three dollars <laughs> from a know. distance. Rich, Richard, from a distance, they Richard are. Richard Millies are nice watches, though. Bro, I really looked into those. I, I swear to God, I ain't gonna buy another watch until I buy one of those. What, what we do? I ain't capping. Or a Jacob and Co. Yeah, those are nice. When yeah, you touch uh, one, you ever? You, oh you man, ever touched I've never really? touched one. Uh-huh. No, uh. Uh-uh. Nice. We everybody had them on the. When we go to Miami on the yacht. Oh Miami yeah, guarantee Damn. it. Walking around with those them. are hard, man. Just grab their wrist. I fuck with them. I'll grab their wrist. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> give me that fucking yeah, watch. Yeah, fucking watch. <laughs> Chop their hand off, take a cleaver. <laughs> but, it, but, it, but it's like jump off the boat. <laughs> <laughs> For me, it's like the I'm, captain. Off. I'm, I'm to the like, captain now. <laughs> I'm trying to like just make more money, bro. You know, I'm not yeah. trying to buy the watch. I'm trying to buy the store that sells. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm trying oh, to buy yeah. a car. That's my next. My next oh, purchase yeah. is, a, is another car. What type of car you want? McLaren. McLaren, like mm. 720 is. Yeah. 720 is. Yeah. Hell yeah! I got a Porsche now, but it's my, yeah. it's my family uh, car. It's oh, a yeah. GTS. Kind GTS, Kellen. They're fast. Hell yeah. Hell yeah! Those are hard. But it ain't. It ain't. You know, it ain't McLaren. a fucking McLaren though. What color is your Bugatti? Yeah, <laughs> you dig? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's like one of those things. Like I, you know, you get to the point. The and this is like the distraction that. The blockade of society has because you get to a point where you can buy the car, uh, but if you buy it, it holds you back from the next level of wealth. Definitely. So mm. it's like you get to the point like I could buy, I could go buy one now, but yeah. like you know what? You could use that money to make more money. Exactly. You know? That's absolutely and that's what you got to understand because it gets to a point like people who have that kind of and materials don't mean nothing. I mean, you get bored of it after a week, but it's more of a oh mess. yeah. Like I grew up watching people drive those, and mm-hmm. I was always told by teachers, everybody else, that like, you can never get that. Yeah, and, and that makes it you otherwise. want to go it makes do you it. Want it. Yeah. yeah, but it gets to a point like when you buy that stuff, the people that do buy it, mm. they buy it without thinking. Like it's like, oh yeah, it's an oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, like my mentor, uh, property boss, and uh, he's big time billionaire, real estate. Yeah, um, and you know he. But whatever he wants, he just bought a brand new, a second Rolls Royce. Yeah. So he has the regular Rolls, the Rolls Royce Ghost, and then he just bought a. No, he had the Ghost. The colon, then. No, he has the colon, and he just bought the Wraith. It's a Wraith. Mm. It's not a Ghost. It's a Wraith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he just bought that. He bought the colon and had that. He liked it, and then mm. he went by the store and wasn't planning on buying anything. So this is like a like a Thursday, and just went by the store, went in, and they had a brand new one on the floor. He said, "I want it." That's hard. And then he left with it. Pay for it cash. Oh yeah. hell yeah, that's hard as fuck. I don't think it was cash. He did same thing. Right? Bro, I really you don't pay I think that fucking cash. um Adkins, Daryl Adkins, yeah. he got that kind of money. Low key. Nah, he he's like he, low he's key. He's got with money, it. but he ain't I, gonna do shit with it. He got a, I would say he's <laughs> if I had to guess, I mean I, I don't want to guess anybody's you know worries. I mean he's got net worth as in like assets. He's mm. probably, you know, I would say probably four or five million. Bro, I bet it's more than that. No I, more it depends on I would bet money that it's He's more than that because we added it up one time. We added it up. He wouldn't tell us. We kept yeah. on bugging him about it. Yeah. And we was like, so how much are you really making? I mean, let's be honest. And then he told us. He told us like the properties. I don't remember how many properties exactly that he said that he owned. But he owns all of them outright. It's all, it's all owned. And, of course, he owns mm. his own house that he lives in. And he still – and he's – Coming in a, a whole bunch of money every fucking month. That passive. Yeah. And he's been doing that for years now. Like now, mm. he's been doing that for so many years. Mm. Like when back whenever I was in school, he was doing it like 10 yeah. years before was that. Was he like Bro was on that some money, other shit. that passive income to buy more properties? Was he trying to expand or was he I, like content with <sighs> what he had? I don't remember. I should have asked him that. Because at a certain point, you probably really have to have people managing all that See, stuff. See, but the thing was, I'm pretty sure that he was managing shit. it all himself and his wife. Him and his wife was managing yeah. it all That's himself. That's the way to do it. 
A lot, yeah. of, people, a lot of people fail in real estate because they mm. think they need a management company. You manage that shit yourself. Yeah, for sure. Like I, my mentor Paul, he still goes and plows his things. Like he, oh, he's shit. got over forty thousand units. He, he does. Yeah. He has a management company, obviously, but he still goes out and does it because there's certain things like why well, pay somebody if you can do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And eventually, like it's a point where you want to do stuff because you don't want to just sit at the house. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Like I, I heard a few conversations with him, like having to answer the phone a few times, and then he was like, "Yeah, I'll be out there in a little bit," and then he would go out and fix whatever the fuck the problem yeah, was. Fix it. Man. That's cool. Stupid. People That's are good. stupid, bro. For it's real. better to do it yourself because if you have someone doing it for you, you're yeah. not going to like the way they're doing it. Oh, yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah. And then it costs yeah, money. Yeah. It's I, like stupid shit. Yeah. You can't fix like the simplest thing. Yeah, like, I'd be, I be having that problem with like the... <laughs> in the yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like we had a leak in here a while back and we like, we called the people and because we, we thought that they was just going to like just do it like right away. Right. You know what I'm saying? We called them they didn't even answer. <laughs> they didn't even answer the fucking phone. Mm-hmm. And then we left a message. Well, Sierra did. And then we like waited for like a couple hours and we was like, you know what? Um, fucking who, Richard. Yeah. He came by and he Richard was like, Venus, he was like, well, he's like, we'll fucking fix this shit. And he sure is not. Yeah. Fucking fi- That's a cool thing. That's that, that I said that. The cool thing, he's kind of like a handyman. So I like being around him because you, I get to learn a lot of stuff, like how to, to fix it. And I think right. that I think that's important, you know? Yeah, Something definitely. breaks around the house, most of the stuff can be fixed. It's like anything. If we got a problem in the business, we don't call somebody to fix it. We've got to fix it ourselves. Yeah, 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 for sure. And like the clips, like I was telling you earlier today, like I'm having somebody, yeah. I like I, I did make a lot of clips, but I mean, after a while, and especially after you start doing so many podcasts and shit, I just don't have time to be fucking making those clips all the time like time. that. I don't do nothing. It takes of my stuff. It takes so you you pay somebody to yeah, do your clips. I don't do nothing. Bro, who do you pay to do them? So the guys I got the way crazy. I was I posted this is when I first started like doing some stuff on social media last year. Uh-huh. Kid slid up. He said, "Yo, I do film." Yeah. He oh, was sure. like, "Yeah, see, you know, you're you're trying to get into it cuz I was posting some shitty ass stuff like uh-huh. some older. I can't remember what it was. It was one reel and I think he's seen it. Yeah. And, you know, we, we met up for lunch. We clicked it off. Uh-huh. And turns out this dude is, like, top tier. He's filmed for almost every rapper you can imagine. Like, oh, oh, shit. Yeah. Fucking Ilya. That's his name. Ilya on the fly. He is the GOAT. Uh-huh. And so for the next, like, four months, we started doing YouTube. Our YouTube videos are still up. They're fire. Yeah. They were hard. We just traveled. Went to Puerto Rico. We went to Boone. We had a bunch of strippers up in a cabin. It was, Hell, yeah. We just did some Hell wild, yeah. wild shit. <laughs> and he made a movie out of Robert everything. was doing coke. Robert was doing some, some, <laughs> some booger sugar on booger some boogers. <laughs> yeah. 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 They, they call me the vacuum cleaner. Oh, oh yeah. shit. And then after, he kind of, you know, he, he got to the point, we got so exhausted on traveling and uh-huh. spent, dude, six figures in like what four months on trips bro it was ridiculous it was insane. so it was like we just kind of got burned out on it yeah. and you know life kind of redirected and he wanted to do his own thing because he likes hunting he's all obsessed with hunting so now he does strictly like hunting for big time hunters he's doing it he's making it yeah but he was part of a team and his team i was connected with now these uh-huh. guys they're like they manage everybody like they, yeah. If they don't manage them, they're like best friends with the managers, whoever you can imagine. So my boy Eli, he's the one that kind of I knew already. So he's the one I snuck in with and yeah. running with. And um, I mean, dude, he's they just like he's like really good friends with uh, what's that motherfucker's name? Uh, no football player, Antonio Brown. Mm. Yeah. So they. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah that kind of like that. All those people. And my yeah, that's boy, hard. Uh, and Zach's with him. He's the best photographer on the East Coast, hands down. Harness. Yeah. He should be popping off with the pics. And then uh, Josh, the other one, he does barstool. So he's barstool. Oh. Okay. Mm. So you see all the, you know, uh, the Sunday edition, like Caleb Presley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he films every one of those. So oh, that's hard. He's on. The, on the Hell yeah. He was just small world, you know. Yeah, it, it is. That's yeah. Like network, bro. It's like started off with nothing and then worked the way up and now these guys so they manage my content they do absolutely everything yeah um as far as like <laughs> i got somebody out in fucking great britain doing my shit really? yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah I, asked, I asked you earlier today i was like you think they're still up <laughs> it was like six yeah six bro o'clock. yeah hell yeah he's cool as fuck that's awesome yeah. for real still never met him Really? <laughs> <laughs> i mean it's one of those things like we, we, we fly these ga- guys down all the uh-huh. time so they we fly them down we do fun stuff and then we film we did a we set up a whole studio in in our house yeah just because we need short short form content hell it's yeah it's a grind bro you know eventually it's gonna pay off i mean it's oh yeah i mean dude it's ex- uh, it's expensive to pay them mm-hmm. to do it a month bro i mean i could like, yeah two, two houses 
Definitely. Payments a month. Do y'all have like a um, like any goals for this year? Like a certain amount that you're trying yeah, to, to well, get to? Or we did grow it. Or? We did it in less than oh, six yeah? months. Yeah, oh. we were, our original goal was what was it? I think it was like a meal. A meal. And oh we shit! Did, we did two mil and six hell yeah, less than six I fuck months. with that shit. Or I guess the goal was four mil. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's a okay, it. Make it it's ten mil. mil. <laughs> it's a moving post. Yeah, uh, yeah. It always goes up. You know, the Lord's blessed us. You know, faith uh-huh. is a big thing for us. We've been really blessed this month. Mark. Coming up, like the we've landed a bunch of big projects. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's so badass. It, I actually fuck with the heavy. I mean, this mm-hmm. month we're probably about a million this month. I mean, do y'all really uh, is most of y'all stuff like in Hickory? Is it everywhere. like the, everywhere? everywhere. We Charlotte, go all the way east um, to Winston, uh, west okay. to Asheville, south Asheville. to um, Charlotte, north to Boone. So, oh um, yeah, we cover the whole and we dominate, bro. Like we're we're compared to that. other people. Like when you hear roofers, everybody has their idea, and then there's us. It's like we're a rare breed. We just cut cut throat. I mean, yeah. we'll show up at a, at a homeowner's house that have had, they've had, I've literally had them come out with a clipboard and a list of like 15 roofers who have came there. Mm-hmm. And so they're, they're comparing them all. And yeah. And I'll have them throwing the clipboard in the trash sign in my contract. Like, Hell yeah. You just got to be better. It's like. <laughs> you just got to be better. You That's gotta, it. You got to stand out. You got to stand out different. Than oh yeah. That's I mean, making a lot of money, This it's simple. You know, people. For sure. Dude, I get so many messages and people calling me wanting a job. Like the amount of people that want to work for us is unreal. And I'm like, look. You know, just because it's working for me doesn't mean this is what you need to do. But yeah. I'll tell you how to do it. It's simple. If I gave, be honest, if I gave you a dollar right now and uh-huh. told you to come back with ten, how long would it take you? Uh, it wouldn't take me that long. It wouldn't take you that long. It'll right? take. It'll but, take me however long it takes me to go to the fucking uh, store. Right. No, it, it wouldn't take <laughs> you and I'll too come long. back with ten dollars right, right then. All right, right. <laughs> now hear this out. What if uh-huh. I gave you ten dollars? Told you to come back with a hundred. What? It, how long is it gonna take you? Not that long. Not that long, but maybe a little bit yeah, longer yeah, yeah. than the first time. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Now let's say I gave you a hundred and said come back with a thousand. Now how long is it gonna take you? Oh. We're it take me a little bit longer, weeks, depend month, on the month, maybe, maybe, maybe. So now <laughs> I gave you a thousand. I said come back with ten. We're talking maybe two months, three months, right? Oh uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, but what for me? Once the number goes up, then I can multiply it more. Right. So it starts building. I'm saying? It starts yeah. building. So now all yeah. of a sudden, but like the first time when I said a dollar to ten, you did it in a day. A dollar uh-huh. to hundred, you did it maybe a week. A hundred, a thousand, maybe two weeks, three weeks. Yes, and sir. Now a thousand to ten, it maybe took you a month or two months. Uh-huh. Now I tell you ten to a hundred. And you're like, okay, well, I can do that, but it may take me, you know, how much? Maybe four months, five months, six months, maybe eight months. You never know. It may take yeah, a little, yeah. just a little bit longer. But the consistent thing with every one of those things I just <sighs> portrayed to you is you mm. did it every time. Yeah. The only difference is the time it took in between each step. So people have to understand that the next accomplishment, the next step that they're going to reach, may take a little bit longer than the last one did. Uh, and if people understand that, it's not sure. about it's not about an exact thing. Like if I sell this, I'm going to make this. Or if yeah. I'm going to do that, I'm going to make that. It's not about that. It's about finding what you can make enough money. If you can go one to ten with something, uh-huh. focus on that. Become better every time, and eventually you're going to get to that hundred that hundred spot. Mm. And then when you go to hundred, you go to a million. And Hell that's yeah. the, that's the model that we've used in our business, and it's allowed us to do two million in less than six months. Mm. And like when we left the last company, our vehicles got vandalized. We went through hell. Like, oh shit! Like, yeah. So like, and then that's the that's that's the whole thing of what the life and the world is. People are gonna try to stop you. And that's oh, yeah. when you push harder. So they tried to invent, they vandalized our vehicles, spray painted them, slashed our tires. Did they, oh, know, did shit. they know you guys? Or was it just something that they were going out of their what way? The nah, they, they, <laughs> they knew us. I'm fan. I'm fan like they, with oh. the owner. Oh, okay. So they, they went out of their way shit. to do that. Well, okay. like, Damn. We, left, we was the foundation of that company. When we left, like everything come. When we started at that company, well, Robert was there at the beginning, but when I started and we kind of started to take off, there was one new truck. By the time mm. we left, there was 25. Mm. Brand new, brand new trucks. The the owner he had boat boats, sports cars, brand yeah. new everything, and we built that because he stayed at home. So we and then all of our guys like we networked and structured that. So we knew what we could do. And when we wanted to leave, we literally sat down because we're like anyone else in life. Yeah. We sat down on a, with a whiteboard and we started sketching ideas. It went from one business to the next. Nothing mm. worked out, and then eventually it come to the point because we were so miserable we were done it come to the point of me and robert were like look we're tired of what we're doing we're going to do whatever it can what do we do best yeah we sell roofs i said as Hell hard yeah. as it will be this is what we have to do and, and and anyone doing it the biggest like holdback for anybody with a business is like well somebody else is doing it okay do it fucking better that's what we did definitely we said look we have this competition which is a 30 million dollar company but we know because we built it we know how we know how to do it we can do it better. We can change it. Yeah. That's what we did. 
of course, you have to go through setbacks. So we went through the trucks getting destroyed. Then we went through um, a lawsuit. So we got hit with a lawsuit. Mm. And so that's fun, you know, having to be in court. Shit. Thank God we won the lawsuit. So oh, it's that's awesome. Yeah, two... two so Twi- you can talk about it now. Yeah, talk about yeah. it. So what was it? A, what was it over? So it was a cease and desist because apparently we signed NDAs, non competes, not mm. NDA. Well, I guess it'd be like an NDA, but yeah. it's a non compete with their so, company. Uh, okay. I signed these nuts on mine, so I knew. Oh, for, yeah, because six <laughs> months prior is when he had made everybody sign them. So I signed uh, these nuts. Robert, shit. Robert never signed it. I never signed it. They forced my signature. They held him oh, hostage. He got held shit. hostage. So I got when I told him I was leaving. Like I was the first one telling him I was. I was done. Start my own thing. I uh-huh. was hostage, threatened for my life. So if you don't sign something, you're not leaving out the. Uh, oh, basically saying you can't go go and co- uh, you yeah. can't go and compete think against like them. You didn't announce I that you were gonna leave and start your own. That they would even he attempt to do so. He would have known. He, yeah, he, he knew quick. So okay. he was just Everybody more knew. of a. Yeah. Damn, he's a piece of shit. Then, yeah, he's know. a terrible person. But we beat him in the, in court, and you know he still tried to mess with our business after that. So once we beat him in court, we all had a meet, and we said, now the next thing to do is take every dollar from this man that we can. Mm. And we have done just that. And we can do yeah. that. Not just remember everybody, which there's enough work <laughs> for everybody. Just expanding out. <laughs> yeah. Because we went from, what, one vehicle with the Jeep, the two, the three, the four, yeah. the five, the six, the seven, we're like eight. You know, it just keeps, keeps rolling. You know, mm. you just got to rebuild. Sometimes you, t- sometimes uh, it's worth it to take two steps back to take oh, three yeah. steps forward. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah all with the time. With anything. Yeah, that's all the time for sure. That's absolutely true. I fuck with that. So we did it, man. Yeah. You know, life's good. You know, everybody. I did that shit. Now y'all are out here. We out here. Yeah. It feels the same as it did before, man. Uh-huh. You know, I miss the days because coming up, bro, trying to figure it all out. You know, I, dude, I used to, it used to be rough because people. Like, nobody understands what people had to go through to get to where we're at. Yeah. It's like people look now, we're driving, you know, wearing the fan- fancy watches, nice yes, clothes, big big house. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. You know, nice cars. Everybody sees that and they're like, yeah, you know, that's dope. You but know? there was but a process to get there. Bro, I, I would yeah. buy a Little Caesars pizza on Sunday and I would split it up and eat it throughout the week because I couldn't afford. Shit, dude, I, I still do that shit. <laughs> bro, I shovel shit, dude, on a farm every day for like two years. Hell dude, yeah. Bro, I cried. I did. I'd cry on the way to work. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but damn, I knew I was gonna well, be was here. Shit. That motivated you to. Yeah, I fucking though. felt that shit. Bro, I knew I was gonna be here. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna cry a little bit harder because I'm gonna be happy when I get there. Hell it's yeah, gonna be worth it. And that's how it is, you know. It, it no matter, you know, no matter where you come from in life, nothing mm. can stop you from getting to where you want to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It all de- determines how bad do you want it. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. But exactly. every day, bro. I don't know. Every day we work all day. I mean, time is like you know, even owning the business, like it's. Uh-huh. The, like he's gone by 7 a.m. every morning. Yeah. He doesn't get back to like 8, 9. Oh, we don't wow. eat uh-huh. until 10, 30. We're up, till, uh, we're up yeah. till midnight past that working, and then we're back up the next day doing it again Damn. every day. I fuck with that. Like, Hell yeah. You know, but it's but it's. But I it's do fun. fuck with that. You know, it's oh, yeah. Fun. It's good to have like a, I guess <laughs> as a man, say, it's good Robert? to have like a mission and goal <laughs> in life because it gives you like purpose to do <laughs> What'd shit. What'd you say? Robert, every time that he goes to say something, bro, shut up, bro. I'm going <laughs> off. <laughs> He's like, uh, oh, uh, uh, it, what are you gonna say, Robert? Right now. Anyways, bro. what I no, just, <laughs> go ahead, bro. Bro, it's hot in here, dude. I'm under, <laughs> it? It you see me sweating, dude. I'm fucking sweating, bro. Shit, we have a fucking <laughs> fan. Sometimes it, work? it works. Sometimes yeah, can you flip that uh, switch right there? That second one. Hell yes, huh? Oh, you're not supposed to reach the fan. Oh, bro, it's... No. You got to pull one of those things. You pulled it, didn't yourself? Broke it. Yeah. It's probably broke. It'd be all right. No, it ain't. You might have to pull it. I need it too, brother. Put my back, Robert. No, I definitely need that shit. Let me scratch it, you weirdo. Nigga, you said scratch it. Hell yeah. Now we got this fan in this food. There we go. Appreciate it. Hey, Robert, what were you yeah. gonna say? Yeah, go ahead, Robert. I was under the influence. Oh, Robert, what's up with your teeth, bro? Yeah, let's see your teeth, brother. Them shits is clean as fuck. Hell yeah, man. Yeah. Hey, if you need teeth, let me know. You ain't got veneers though, do you? I do. Ah, uh, let's see them. Them clean. Hell you yeah. do too, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I got them. Damn. That's what's up. I yeah. thought about that shit. I'm act- I'm still thinking about it, but still, I don't know. I Look, don't know. They're very expensive, but I can get you the best deal that anyone can buy. I know everybody yeah. says that, but I le- we, we can legit get you the best deal. Puerto Rico. No. Miami. Oh, shit. Mm. 
we're we're plugged friends in. with the owner of the dentistry. We're actually we talked that. about starting a dentistry up here for him. Really? Yeah, Holy shit. Walking around TV with him. Holy <laughs> Everybody shit. Everybody having him. Veneers. Yes, Veneers sir. We're going to do it made okay. out of hickory. We talked about it. We're going to talk uh, to him about it again, but we're, he owns couple dentistries down there yeah. So, yeah i think i'm just gonna i was i think i'm just gonna get like invisalign they don't shave them down stri- they don't shave them down no. these are not shaved down Ooh. these are his real, real teeth real teeth they're cosmetic like my, yeah my real teeth are still under mine oh so what they just like yeah because like, like form it or like put like an epoxy or something yeah, there yeah, around it's they cosmetic it. it's, oh, okay his are not exactly straight but i mean he's got veneers and then i had braces so like mine are straight uh-huh and okay i see yeah yeah Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So I love them, bro. I mean, that's. I know. want that, but golden. Can I do it? I guess you can do whatever you want. How long do uh, <laughs> veneers, are they like 15 years, something like yeah, that? Like 10 years. They Two always years. Be, you be having them. The only problem with cosmetic yeah. is they pop off. Like, they will pop off. Oh. Uh, if you do, like, Robert's got a couple. I got one. Yeah. But also, when we did it, they were trying a new dentist. So, like, it was his first time. And yeah. They oh. do it right, and they didn't oh, tell shit. until after. <laughs> Uh-huh. Because we're friends with the owner, so it was like, oh, yeah, you know, he's my boy. Let's, yeah. let's use a new dentist on him. And, uh, yeah, they were like, <laughs> he told us when we went back because we had a c- problems. And yeah. he was like, yeah, he ain't coming back. Like, yeah, this so, guy ain't worth a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 dude, they do, the, do a wonderful job. Uh-huh. You know, very, very reputable people. Hell, yeah. A lot of, a lot of celebrities actually go. Oh, there, wow. Shout out to that dentist. Maintain. Let me know if you need him, Carson. Okay. I'll fuck with we'll, that. We'll get you after the pod. If you I'll, I'll yeah. consider that shit. But well, they, uh, shit. you know, you got to get them maintained and stuff. So yeah. We're going to go back. We're, I think we're flying down. We got an event next, in the end of September. Uh-huh. A yacht event. We got to go back. So oh, we're, man. Yeah, we're gonna get yacht back. event. Dude, we go to Miami like once or twice a month. Oh, yeah? yeah. What do you do over there? Bunch work. of booger sugar. Nah. Nah, nah. Is it we, more like networking? Yeah, you we just straight work when we get down there. We just nonstop. Oh, yeah. We're, we're good friends with a, a guy. So this is this is against kind of like my morals. And obviously, I would be single if I if I did this. But <laughs> mm-hmm. um, he does OnlyFans management. Uh, oh, okay. Stupid, stupid money. I think I know I think I think know what you're talking about, bro. I've seen, uh, You've because seen I, their stuff. Yeah, because I went through your shit. Yeah. Because I usually go through people's shit first yeah. before they come on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> I even went through Robert's shit, yeah, too, damn. brother. Man. You need to get that shit updated. Uh, yeah. Robert I just know. got all of his shit I on mean, Instagram uh, like from 30 uh, years yeah. ago. Yeah. <laughs> right, I, I'm a Looks the same, you. though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just, let, let me go up there and upload some new photos. Too. Okay. All right, you got like you got like three good ones on there. Yeah. I ain't gonna cap. You got three yeah. good ones. I ain't gonna say the whole thing is old. Some is recent. Okay, yeah, I seen that shit. Okay, hell yeah. But I know I know who you're talking about though. Yeah, my boy Chico. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sway yeah. Lux. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's bro. The guy. We we got in. We actually rented a yacht through him when we first went down. Not first. I back in March when we just started on our run. Yeah. You know, up networking again. We got in touch with him, rented a couple yachts from him, and then, dude, that's how it go. You know, we're business guys. He's a business guy. We clicked automatically. And For then sure. And we run it nonstop with him. And that's how, mm. dude, we were just on a boat with, like, like I was saying, the, I'm trying to think who I was on there. It's like bro. 20 it was like, bitches. It was like 100. <laughs> <that too. laughs> but, like, all the, every guy on there was a net worth of a million plus. And when I yeah. say a million plus, me and Robert were the million. Everybody else uh-huh. was, like, 20, 30 million. All Richard Millies. All yeah, Richard right. Millies, bro. <laughs> you, know, you know Corey SSG? No. Mm-mm. He's a YouTuber. He does like pranks on his girlfriend. Uh, You've seen him. Maybe <laughs> no. You know. He's I don't super know. chill. He's got like 5 mil on YouTube. I'm oh, yeah? So, but I didn't even know. I didn't know none of them. Oh, yeah? Yeah. They were obviously I knew. I know you're successful. Like that's I'd be like. I know you're obviously important. Yeah. You know. <laughs> but I don't know. Who and you're you like, are. bro. I'll do the. I'll fucking fix this roof real quick on this yeah, fucking dude. yacht, bro. Your, your yacht's <laughs> leaking, bro. No, nah, they were yeah. <laughs> super chill guys. You uh-huh. know? Some some of them were. At, one of them was actually from NC. He uh-huh. had a credit credit repair. You're like, oh, well, wow. yeah, we're from Taylor's World. They're like, huh? Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> what? Believe it or not, you say Charlotte. Most of them do Charlotte or. Like, oh yeah, Hickory. absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll say Taylorsville. They don't un- understand. Yeah. I'll say Hickory. A lot of times they don't understand. Yeah, Charlotte, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Charlotte, they're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like, yeah. I got a lot of fans out there. I'm like, yeah, yeah, Charlotte. Yeah, hell yeah, saying. Charlotte. That's where I live. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere. Right there. Yeah, no, yeah. It's, it's super fun. We got in good with him. So, like, every time we go to Miami, we have, like, uh-huh. dude, VIP cert. We get to the airport, Lambo, yeah. waiting outside. It's like GTA. Like, straight <laughs> yeah. It really is. We hop, yeah, in, yeah. hop into Euros, just take off, and yeah. go to the thing, you know, 
then hop out, fucking kill a stripper, Dude. then fucking <laughs> you know, hop on a boat, you know, hop in a helicopter, bro. I mean, whatever. Fucking blow up blow some somebody. buildings and shit. Yeah, them, yeah private jets, bro. Like, you like know. the ratio on a boat out there is three to twenty. Perfect. Like that's that's the perfect sense. ratio. I got stranded down there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we left him. We, we yeah, actually had yeah. a podcast. Strand, like, what did you just get? We had a like, podcast. What's the story behind so, that? So, Brevin had a podcast in Connecticut, uh-huh. and I had to stay an extra night. So, Chico's like, well, we're going on the yacht tomorrow. Hell and yeah. I just stayed with him at his crib, and then we went on the yacht. Hell girls yeah. came back. And How much did you spend in the like two days you were there after I left? Like five grand. It was more than that. Probably a little bit more than that. <laughs> yeah, it was like five grand. Hell yeah. yeah. It'd be like that sometimes. I mean, you know, <laughs> when you're on vacation, you know, you, you just got to enjoy yourself. Hell yeah, you know? for sure. Robert, you'd be a wealthy man if you had all the money. Got a couple of escorts. Both would. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, yeah. that's what make, it makes or breaks you. You know, I still remember having negative $36 in the bank account. Oh, bro, I got like, screenshots of that shit, like, brother. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Hell it's yeah. It's funny, bro, because I'll be honest, dude, 2021, this is, dude, this is shit I've never talked about on a podcast. Uh-huh. 2021, which is relatively not long ago. Yeah. Wait, or would it be 2022? No, 2021. It's a year. Two yeah, 20, years ago. 2021. I had $32 left to my name. Yes, sir. Hell yeah. So, for people that say, look, you know, you can't go back to zero, because you can get it, and then you can lose it. It's easy to oh, lose yeah. it. Oh, yeah. So, you went to 30, bro, $32 <laughs> right back. Like, the people that win the lottery... Like yeah. gone in a Ooh, year. Spend it all. They have no concept of how to manage it. Well, they didn't have money. Before. Yeah, I mean, yeah, and then like, and then they're just getting money out of thin air that they didn't even work for. It's just a luck, luck hit. Yeah, it's just a luck hit for sure. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, and then they'd be getting to people for sure, and then they would just be buying up everything. I remember there was <laughs> like without somebody, even thinking about what the fuck they even got. For real. Like there was, I don't know if it's true or not, but like if they just. Dis- Distribute money like evenly. A lot of the money would go back to the original people that had it, like within like a few years. So like like wealth distribute, like um like handing all the money out to different people. Like say you got like somebody that doesn't have anything, you give them like a hundred grand. A lot of times they're just gonna lose all of that because they have no idea of like what it takes to get it or how to manage it or what to do with it. But uh, also that sort of stuff really isn't taught in school. From like my personal experience, mm-hmm. all they just teach is like math, English, shit, like nothing really. On how to move up financially enough. It's a lot of that stuff is like, yeah, it's yeah. like it's almost like they it, just want you to definitely. just be renting and being in debt your whole life, and they, that's no fun. So the only thing they check teach the is go to college. That's really it. Yeah, <laughs> but if you look at it, I mean, if you yeah, make, if you make we a might dollar, as well. <laughs> if you make a dollar, somebody else loses a dollar. That's how it works. Like if you can make a dollar yeah. and not negatively affect someone else, then you figured out how to print money. Yeah. Congratulations. The way you do it, it's like literally a transfer of wealth. So the wealthy mm-hmm. people, if, if everyone got the equal amount of money, the same wealthy people before would be wealthy again because yeah. they know how to place themselves on the system, the transfer of wealth. Oh, absolutely. So like if, mm-hmm. if somebody buys something here and this person, you know, it's going to – now whoever bought – like if you go to a restaurant, right, and yeah. you buy the food, you're losing money. The food the, – the restaurant's gaining money. But they're also losing it because they have to buy the food to prepare it. Yeah, have to then, pay the people to cook exactly, it. Exactly. Everything like that. the distributor – that they paid the money to, they're losing the product. Yeah. So they have to buy the product from someone else. So there's always a chain of, of where wealth comes. So the way you got to sure. look at it is like, yeah. okay, here's how it works. How can I put myself up here in the transfer yeah. of wealth? Not down here. And then that's mm-hmm. kind of what we did with our business. Okay, well, people need a roof. So how can I position myself to the person that they're going to call? Mm-hmm. Right? Okay, so do that. And then it's the next step. So, okay, I'm the person that they're going to call, but how can I become the person that the insurance is going to refer we do a lot of insurance work, right? Yeah. Right? And so then it gets to that point, and and then it goes, okay, they send out, then you look at another, they send out an inspector. Well, how can I become the point where I know who they're going to send out? Yeah. So it's like you got it locked. You got four corners, and every corner has your name in it. So no matter what, you have a circle of money that's coming to you. Yeah. And then it gets to a point in every industry where you just max out. You can't really get no more out of, you know, it's like you're eating an orange. And I'm guessing so much. I'm guessing y'all got the SEO set up, too. On uh on Google, so like whenever somebody looks up like roofing around here, if somebody types in roofing, y'all are the first ones to yeah, pop up. I, I, 
it's it always changes. The internet always switches mm, up. Honestly, yeah, yeah. the major like the majority of our business is from door knocking. Because See, that, oh yeah, 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 for sure. You know, you that works. I mean, it does, but we don't do a lot of retail work. We do mainly insurance work. So we knock the uh-huh. doors. Somebody doesn't oh. even know they have damage. Okay, get on my roof. Yep, you got damage. Okay, yeah. what do I do? Call my insurance. Mm. No, we call it for you. Mm. A lot of companies say, call your insurance, let us know when you hear something back. No, we do the whole thing for you because that makes them feel comfortable like they owe us. Exactly, something. for sure. Mm. That's so perfect. There's, there's ways to go about it, you know. But in, like any business, there's problems and then you got to come up with a solution. And then your solution has yeah. to be better than every then other Then it company. gets into sales too. Yeah. yeah I mean, sales and marketing and shit like that. It's not hard. It's like if you're a really people not. person, you can talk to anybody. Oh, yeah, for sure. Mm. That's all it is. Hell, yeah. I fuck with that shit. Yeah. Hell yeah. Being all out there. Hey, let me fucking do your roof, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that how you do? You know? Nah. Bah, 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 bah. You know, you know. You I'm going to fucking do your roof. Nah, you just approaching a different <laughs> situation. Like, it's always got, different. Yeah. 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 Every it's homeowner's different, different but... It's yeah. better to be in person than over the phone because if you're cold calling, yeah, all they hear is your voice. They don't see yeah. you. They don't yeah. see what you're coming with. Y'all give money to homeless people all the time. All the time. All the time. All the time. Oh shit! I mean, we be blessing people in Walmart. Just I mean, I don't like talk about money we give away, but uh-huh. you know, I mean, I would get. I know at least probably two thousand. What about crackheads? Would you give it to them? Why not? Just give them some money. I mean, you know because. Yeah. Buy you the good crack. <laughs> I get money. Hey, I get. I, I seen my uh, buy some of the good shit next time. Yeah. Dude, dude, crazy story. I was in Wendy's a couple weeks ago. I went to drive through and I seen a guy standing out there. I'm like, dude, I know this guy. <laughs> it was my cellmate from when I went to jail. Oh, yeah. whoa. And so I like got him some food. Stopped talking to him. He's trying to got him a job working at Mickey D's. This is uh-huh. over and uh, back that way. And he's got a job. Trying to do better. He's living in a tent. So I gave him some money. Gave oh, him some food. Oh, shit. He, he, seemed to, he seen him a week later. He looked like he was doing all right. Uh-huh. He had some homies with him in a car. Hell so yeah. That. Hell yeah. Shit, maybe he fixed his life up. You know? He turned it around. And it's like this. Like, you know, people that have signs out on the on the corner, you know, you never really know what their situation is. Oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Really some of them can be fake, but you usually yeah. know. Like, for him, I'm like, dude, I, I just knew because I was in it. And then, like, the biggest thing when I was in jail with him – the only like the one of the number one things he said is like God hates me. And I'm like me being in this cell, Whoa. me being in this cell with you is proof that God doesn't hate you. That uh-huh. He has not given up on you. Whoa! Yeah. And believe it or not, when I seen him a couple weeks ago, he was like, you know what? He said I gave my life to the Lord. He said hey, God's leading me. He said I know I'm going to get through this. He awesome. Said, I'm still digging it. So like, That's awesome. Being able to see that that somebody has turned their life around and realized that you know there is more out there than just what they thought there was to begin uh-huh. with. That makes me happy, and you know, because yeah. I was at one of my lowest points of life ever when I was with him uh-huh. in there. But I still, you know, had my knowledge. I'm like, look, dude, like, we're gonna both get through this. Like, what was up with that? Well, what happened there? Me with me? Yeah, yeah, bro. So, dude, females, man. Yeah, <laughs> oh shit! Cut up on some. Yeah, Whoa. I ain't gonna get too deep into it, but okay, it was one of those situations. like a false accusation. Yeah, it was a something. false accusation. Yeah, uh, yeah you gotta yeah. be careful what women you deal with. Well, some of them are uh, not. They're oh yeah, evil. for sure. It's evil. messed up, bro. Amber Heard. Remember, I remember Heard, was, dude. Something like that. But <laughs> yeah. there was. I remember Tony. He was messing with a girl, talking to her, and then when he stopped talking to her, she tried to poison him. Damn. <laughs> you know? I never had that yeah. shit. Oh, Tony. <laughs> yep, I remember that. I remember he yeah, said that I, I, shit. I was, like, I was chilling. What the fuck is wrong with I was that? Who the fuck is Tony, bro? <laughs> like Tony's cool as fuck, Tony's bro. Chill. Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. Damn. We had him on the podcast not too long ago. He's a videographer. He does yeah. it. He's uh, been doing some shit for people in the NBA. Like in, uh, NBA. Okay. Steph Curry. Hell yeah. Tony, dude. Yeah, yeah bro. like him. Yeah, he's cool as fuck. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude. So, yeah, yeah he feel- squats a fuck time, bro. He squats like six twenty five. He does. Yeah. Oh yeah, bro. He's, uh, His legs are as big as both of y'all's put together. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, bro. <laughs> okay, I uh, yeah. I don't know, man. But it yeah, it's in the state of like North Carolina, like, and I was eighteen and the girl was seventeen. So yeah. technically, uh-huh. I'm an adult. Technically, she's a minor, even though you're. Wait, you was it? You was what? I was eighteen. She was seventeen. So I'm an adult. She's a minor. That's the way they, the the law looks at it. Uh yeah, but the age of consent is 16. It is, but it doesn't matter because if she accuses, like, if a 17 year old accuses anybody 18 and up of anything physical, uh-huh. they are automatically arrested and guilty until proven innocent. That is the law. Ooh. So, oh damn. FYI, I mean, 
Everybody, I think, wow. cares too. Bro. Shout out Amber Heard. Shout out Amber Heard, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bitch. So I was like Johnny Depp. Really on a bed. <laughs> Dude, I was, le- I, was, I was going home, man. You know, just went by to see this person, and she was up in the bed with another dude. And so Ooh. Uh, it was one of those, you know. I, Not only that, she's crazy, but she's unloyal. Yeah. <laughs> things got a little heated. You yeah. know? I knew the guy. I'm like, bro, oh. he wouldn't come um, out the house. You know, I kicked his mirrors brother. off and shit. <laughs> of his car. Man, damn. So, you know, but anyways, I went home and then they tried saying, you know, she, oh, he hit me, beat me. And so many different, so it. many different stories. Like there were so many different stories. Wow. And I didn't give a shit. And I, cause I already had some success. Uh, so like everybody was like, yeah, this yeah, is the like, downfall. Give me your fucking money. This yeah. is the downfall. <laughs> well, that's what they were after. But uh, like, cause her family's broke as hell. Like, yeah. Didn't have shit, dude. Damn it. Didn't have shit. What school did you go to growing up? Over here. What, what, <laughs> what elementary school? <laughs> oh, uh, Wittenberg. Hey, was that Ed? Was it Ellen? Which one was it? Wittenberg, where the 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 mom worked. No, no, it nah, it was Ellen. Never mind. Oh yeah. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Where'd you get a fucking? <laughs> you said what, mom? You probably did. You probably got yeah. it. Damn, we're just going to blast on the you. podcast. Uh, I don't care, bro. Like you don't give person. a fuck. I don't give a fuck, bro. Because, <laughs> yeah. dude, the mom was behind it all, bro. Oh, she done shit. sucked up every man in the county, bro. Damn. She's going to come at me like Now we're going to suck off his money. <laughs> and, that's, and, and that's what it was. Because they were like, uh, they couldn't, because the girl was not 18, they couldn't oh. law, put, press a lawsuit because she wasn't old enough to so that it was the mother the lawsuit. She, the mother's yeah. the one that made her do the charges, and the the mother was trying to press a lawsuit against me, but they couldn't uh-huh. because the girl was not an adult. And unless you're an adult, you cannot enact a lawsuit in the state of North Carolina. Damn. That's what my lawyer was like. That's what they were saying. Is like they're trying to sue you. I'm like, oh, yeah. They, they was trying money. to fuck you. They want my money, bro. They didn't get yeah. it. Long story short, fought on and off with that shit for like eight months. Oh, fuck. And then the beautiful hey, goddamn letter months. from the judge come through. The shit's dismissed. She Hell wouldn't yeah. testify. It's like, you know. Of course she, she would. Also, yeah, of course she would. You got so, <laughs> you got beat so bad, but you won't yep. tell everybody about it. Yeah. Amber Heard, bitch. You know? <laughs> <laughs> she wouldn't put her hand on the fucking Bible. Nah, she wouldn't do it. And so, you know, they threw it out. And then, you know, this is crazy, bro. Because uh, I'm going to tell you what. Like, your past follows you. So people. Oh, yeah. And, and here's the thing. You know. Fast forward a year later, right? Uh huh. This is this is actually what this was six months ago, right before our court date with yeah. the roofing company situation. I got she hit. got lightning no, strike. Different girl, bro. Oh, different girl. This is different. <laughs> I thought she got struck by Listen, lightning. I'm, I'm out of my business, right? Uh-huh. I, dude, I wasn't even like serious with this girl like a month, two months. Well, I left because I, I was like, look, dude, I got my success, my business, everything else to worry uh-huh. about. She, I didn't talk to her. Blocked on everything. It was like seven days, no contact. I'm out at the office, minding my business. The police rolls up. You've been served. And I'm thinking in my head, it's our previous employer. I'm like, yeah, talking shit about it. Yeah. Him. And then I read it. He's like, it ain't that. And I read it. <laughs> this girl tried doing the same thing the first one did. Oh, shit. Because she knew what the first one did. So she's like, oh, I'm going to get money. Oh, hell yeah. So she tried doing the same thing. Said I held her at gunpoint. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Like held her I hostage. Thought you, didn't you do that to me? Nah, bro. <laughs> what? I gotta swear. Hey, but, but the, I got witnesses. Nah, bro. <laughs> the fun part was she was she was over the age of eighteen. Okay, she was she was she was, she was twenty three, so old enough to know better. Yeah. And she uh she got caught lying on the stand. So this Damn. was different, bro. It was like um, these guys were in the courtroom. How did she get it. caught though? How does that happen? My, my lawyer is a goat, dude. Like, <laughs> bro, we have the best legal team. Shout He's like, out, that like, bitch is like, lying. Shout out to our legal team for real. <laughs> right. They are expensive. Hell yeah, a lot of money on lawyers, but they are the best. So Hell yeah. He tore her apart. She even have a lawyer. So damn, she, she was crying on. The How are you gonna accuse somebody of holding you at gunpoint, but you don't get a lawyer? Shout out Amber Heard. Amber Heard. <laughs> but yeah, man, women are like that, dude. They, you know, the the wrong ones. They tried to bringing that up, trying yeah. to do it again. She you lost. gotta vet them. Yeah, you gotta vet the fuck out of him, yeah. Bro. Maybe you hadn't been vetting them right. Man. Yeah, no, I got I got a good one now. So. He's just like pointing out the best crazy ones he can find. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, I got a good one now, so I don't gotta worry about that. Uh huh. Until you marry her and she divorces you the next yeah, day. Yeah, <laughs> she's, she's, like, she's like, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do what the other ones couldn't do. I'm gonna uh-huh. wait till it's like, you yeah, know, you can't win this one. <laughs> yeah, that's uh huh. Dangerous, yeah. dangerous. Robert just be chilling. That's just dangerous. Know. <laughs> whatever, whatever comes, you know, through the aisle. Whatever I'm comes, up. yeah. Hell yeah. You gotta take advantage of it. Until then, he's gonna be doing that buggy sugar on the stripper's butt. <laughs> on the stripper butt crack, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Call me the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> I fuck with that shit. 
<laughs> Robert don't even do Robert. Robert's been so, the only thing Robert does is weed. Yeah, I fuck with that. Yeah, so, you know, if you fit no. CBD. 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 I'm fuck with the Delta Eight. Yeah. What's that Delta Ten now? Ooh. Delta level. 10 I fuck with that shit and I, I just I'm high on life man Oh anything. yeah You don't do weed No I don't You don't do, do any drugs I drink occasionally Don't do any drugs Oh really That's how I am Oh except for drinking I don't drink at all actually mm. Special occasion Yeah I, I used to, to smoke get, I don't All the drink, time I don't drink to get drunk You was a pothead in high school I was a big time pothead In high oh, school Oh yeah you were Yeah yeah for sure And then a little bit after that Bro, do you remember the magic tricks? Do you remember that? The magic tricks? I used to do that. There's a YouTube video still up. Really? At the high school football games. I was the kid that did the magic trick. I don't remember, bro. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to refresh. I don't remember. I don't know what year did you graduate. This was this was before both. You may have just been a freshman. 2018 is whenever I graduated. Yeah, what year did uh, both y'all graduate? Didn't you graduate with me? Yeah, I graduated early though. Oh, Dude, oh okay. did you really? This yeah. is you, bro. I was, a, bro. I literally <laughs> was supposed to, but my fucking counselor didn't tell me. <laughs> it's me. I'm on there, that's you, brother. Bro. Wait, no way, brother. That's me. That's you, dog. What the fuck am I doing? I do a magic trick. I used to do magic. I don't have any oh. tattoos on my hands. That's you, bro. <laughs> You were geeking in this too. You was I was clean. probably geeking. You oh, was gotcha. a clean slate. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, bro. Look at—I mean, all these people have been here. You Brother, you gotta twist look. it. You recognize that? Look, I recognize all them all bitches. Hold on, brother. That's gotcha. me out there. Look at Mr. McCalp. Whoa, hold on. That's you right yeah, there. Yeah, that's me, brother. Uh, what damn. the fuck am I wearing? You know how long ago? Look at those braces. You remember when those were a thing? Bro, I think I actually bears. remember that shit, bro. No way. How old was you? Dude, I would have been. This was. I'll tell you the day it was. Doing magic tricks and shit? Six years ago. You still know how to do magic tricks? Seven years ago. T- September 10th. Yeah, I, c- I can still do them. Wow. I don't do them, but I can still. Bro. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Crazy, this is this is actually all part of the magic trick. I was never there. You just yeah, dude. Really, really <laughs> that actually really was me. I still have that shirt to this day and still wear it. Really? Swear to God. Bro, that's what I was telling you about the shirts, bro. I don't give a fuck. Whenever I buy a shirt now, I wear that shit till it fucking if disintegrate. If I even whenever it rips, I don't give a fuck. It's still going. If I can still fit it, bro. I yeah. See. Hell yeah. Still going. Still going with that shit. With some designer shoes. <laughs> Robert just red bottoms. Yeah. Hell yeah. You got some red bottoms? Yeah. 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 I fuck with that shit. Heavy. Yeah, yeah bro. The Italians. Some Burberry in there too. You know? Oh, yeah. Favorite. That's my favorite. Burberry. Yeah, you got, the, you got the glasses. I got those same glasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Robert, white ones. Robert's had like three pair. He keeps losing I them. got the black ones too. That's what he has. Yes, sir. They're nice. I like them. Good. Yeah. Those shits are hard. Yeah. Hell yeah. And the cologne too. The okay. colognes were The deodorant. Have you had the deodorant? No, dude, bro. Right, I've off. been needing to get some. Dude, it's worth 90 bucks. Yes. Yeah. It's I really, worth it. Really? Worth Does it last? Yes. Okay. That's really all I care about is it all lasting. Day. For sure. The best time that I've found right now is just degree because I can't I can't even find fucking I can't even find deodorant. That's like Gucci, I can't even find Gucci deodorant around here. You have to order it. It's worth ordering though. Really? It's worth the wait. You order it, you don't get it from any any place? No. I mean, you can get it at dealers and stuff like really? that, but just order it. Okay. Yeah. I got you, bro. You want some, You want to borrow the glasses? Let's see them. These are the Gucci's? I lost mine. Somebody boom ganged them. Oh, yeah? It's probably Gage. <laughs> Let's see this. There shit. you go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You fuck with it? It's a good look. I'll fuck with these. Hey, bro, you going to let me get a hat? Yeah. Appreciate that. For real. We didn't even bring no shirts. We got a couple got of them over here. shirts in there? We don't have shirts. Hell yeah. I fuck with those. I fuck with those those, those hats. Those. Hell yeah, I got you, bro. I want to see your goofy ass in it, though. I definitely got you, brother. <laughs> Hell yeah. You know what? I'm going to switch hat for hat. I got a hat from the roofing company. I'm gonna Do you really? Brand, brand new. We're going to switch Swear it. Swear to God. Yes. Okay. We were, I actually, they were supposed to have shirts and shit for you. I don't know what happened. Oh, bro, that's all right, brother. We can throw you a kick. As long as y'all bring them some other time, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. We can we'll drop them off. Drop them off? Yeah, y'all know where I stay now. Y'all can come by and do a drive-by anytime. 
Just fucking shoot my yeah, shit up. Where'd you go? You gotta, you gotta put it up. Snatch my fucking chain. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro, he's got it. Gun safety, though. Gun safety. Yeah, yeah. Robert doesn't know. Gun, gun safety. safety. <laughs> Hell yeah, you keep that shit with one in the chamber, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Nah, because I might shoot myself. No? Yeah, so really? Does it not have a safety? No. Bro, I keep my Glock with fucking with no fucking safety, and I keep it with one in the chamber, brother. I mean, you know, <laughs> that's and just tuck it in my pants whenever I fucking want to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Might shoot my dick off. I don't give a fuck. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I appreciate y'all coming out yeah, here, bro, brother. Yes, that shit's awesome. Yeah, dude, I fuck with this. Good talk, bro. Like, Hell yeah. It's been a For day. sure. No, Next time no, I get y'all on here, we're going to go wait, deep, though. You, you got you to gotta do one last thing, Carson. What's up? No, I don't even love winning. You, you got to do the Rico's Blessing. Rico's Blessing? What yeah, does that mean? You got to hit it. Oh no! One, one hit wonder, bro. Sorry, brother. Don't do it. Don't do it. I can't. He does this to all of our all of our new employees. He tries I'm, to get to do. I'm it not allowed there. to do it because I made a pack with myself. I'm sober forever. Yeah, I, I, I've been saying that for a while. I'm perma sober now. I've Rob, been. Robert's gonna get pulled over by every cop that watches this now. Fuck him. Pro- probably. That's all right. He already get, we already get pulled over. Like, Unless it was cool, like those ones with uh, fucking me and Ethan. Like whenever we got pulled over, we got pulled over one time after we got done with a party. Man, was it wild? We was fucked. Oh, Caleb was there too, <laughs> wasn't you? No, it was my Oh shit, we had lost a piece, <laughs> bro. You remember that shit? We lost a piece. Earlier that day or night, the gun, Caleb. How many bongs? No, have the, you got to no, the bro. The piece for the uh, bong. Damn, we had lost it, so he didn't get charged with paraphernalia or anything because we. It was just a fucking. It was just a base, yep. Base, you know? Seriously, like, that shit's hard. That shit crazy. Hell yeah, we'll wrap this fucking podcast up. We'll fuck you on the next podcast. Yes, next sir, time you come to this podcast, we're gonna suck you and fuck you. And this podcast, we already sucked you and fucked you off. Robert sucked you big time. Um, shout out to the fucking roof gang. What is it called? All of us Reuben. Okay. Send it brave. We here. All right. Fucking send it their way. Get your fucking insurance to pay for this shit. You already know what the fuck going on. We got Seth in this bitch. Yes, Erski. Hell yeah. Run it up. All right. We'll suck y'all on the next podcast. Fuck you later. <laughs>